Martha. I know it's rude to stop by without calling first, and even ruder to stick my nose in where it doesn't belong, but I... Clark told you... everything? Come on in. Son, I never told you this before, but your mother turned me down the first time I asked her to marry me. What? You're kidding. <laughs> Actually, the first two times. Well, what did you do? Uh, I sulked, dove into my work. Unfortunately, it was winter. So I look pretty silly plowing up all those fields in the snow. <laughs> anyway, around springtime, I finally realized that getting married wasn't just about my feelings. My mom was young. She was scared. She knew that she loved me. But was it a lifetime kind of love? <laughs> she needed... Time. You know, time to think it over. To get to know him for... Who he really is. That's not unreasonable. Oh, not at all. But you need to understand that Clark has always been alone. When he was 13 and just beginning to be really strong, really, really strong, he made the decision on his own never to tell anybody. He said he wanted to fit in. But of course, he couldn't. Not really. It broke my heart watching him having to hide so many things. Afraid he was always going to be alone. You know, I love him. Oh, then tell him and make him tell you. You can get through everything else. God, I turned Jonathan down four times before we finally made it down the aisle. Really? Yes, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I turned him down, he'd go out and plow another field of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 30 years. You're the first woman I've ever been able to talk to about my boy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 